What's going on? It's my life and shot me host down and watch that. I'm gonna bring you guys what's going on in Chicago. One of the biggest things is the teens that cause so much mayhem downtown Chicago. Several viral videos of cars being burned, people being beat up, shot. This video now is going around, which was viewed over 10 million times of a lady being brutally beat. I'm gonna bring you guys that. I'm gonna also bring you guys on what Mayor-elect Brandon Johnson had to say about the teens downtown. Also, I'm gonna bring you guys on what Mayor Lloyd Lightfoot had to say about the teens downtown and what she tweeted out and what's her solution. I'm gonna also bring you guys the crime stat going on in Chicago. Renee, what's going on with this? Yeah, so last weekend of April 14th, uh, Chicago had some really warm temperatures. So hundreds of teens gathered downtown before curfew was in effect, and they just had uh, public mayhem. They stopped traffic. Uh, they set a car on fire. They stumped on cars. So, um, so far, only 16 have been arrested. Three teens were shot. A woman was attacked. And out of those two teens, one was 16 16 year old shot in the arm and a 17 year old shot in the leg i want the chicago taxpayers to understand how much extra overtime that they have to pay for officers to be downtown if i'm we have a new superintendent coming in and a new mayor so now in this video they're gonna say and it's been viewed over 10 million times they're gonna say that they, this uh, residents sparked outrage residents who called for better security and better lighting and a string of attacks imagine how many businesses there are even so many businesses are threatening to, threatening to leave the city and so all right so now i'm going to bring you guys to president mayor elect brandon johnson on what he had to say of the third largest city in the country i want to hear solutions i don't want to hear excuses I want to hear solutions. So he's going to say, no constructive, not constructive to demonize youth starved of opportunities. Come on, bro. I'm going to have to disagree with you. Now, to the people, people that when you elect someone, it's okay to hold them accountable. It's okay to say, okay, I like him better than him. But when your uh, person gets in office, hold them accountable, people. Go ahead. Yeah, so definitely um, he's a, the new mayor elect and you elected him for a reason. So you definitely want him to have some different views on what's uh, best for the city. The whole point of uh, reelect electing someone new was a change for the city, right? You didn't like the way the city was being ran. So that was the whole point of a new mayor. Right. The whole point of a new mayor. So everybody's calling them Lightfoot 2.0. And so now... This is a huge issue, and now y'all issue a statement that's similar. You know, if, if I'm mayor-elect, I'm telling people, hold on. When I get in office, I'm putting an end to this. Don't worry. I would be in office. I'm putting an end day one. What are the things? I want to hear solutions. One of my solutions would be I'm going to find the parents. Um, I would go 21 and under, whoever your guardian is, Y'all getting at least a $2,000 fine. I double it. I make it $2,000. You come downtown, y'all like the fool, you get arrested, make it $2,000. Oh, also, I want to triple the jail time. Let's lock them up. I'm going to set an example. I guarantee that first weekend, if you see some craziness, I would lock up so many people. Boy, they'd be like, ah, downtown next week. No, no. I would have people scared to death. Go ahead, yeah, Ray. you definitely have to have the parents involved. I mean, it starts with parenting. I know he talked about lack of opportunities or youth programs, but I mean, if parents aren't raising their kids and stealing morals and values and rules, it's not going to make a difference. Let me tell you something. There was an assistant principal getting ready to call my mother in high school, and she said, oh, I'm about to call your parents. And I was like, no! I was more scared of my parents than I was of that assistant principal in that school. She said, you, she threatened the reason. I said, oh, and these kids are not even worried about, oh, go ahead, call my parents. I don't care. And so I would have to disagree with 
starved of opportunities. I watched immigrants come over here and they're working three and four jobs. Some of them come from in their country making $15 a month so $15 an hour over here, they like, woo, they're cutting grass, scrubbing toilets, they're working everything. They put their money together, they live together, and within a year, they are financially stable facts. So I don't want to hear nothing about you no know, starved up opportunities. It sounds like an excuse to me. Speaking of excuse to me, she says, Mayor Lori Lightfoot is saying, while many young people gather to have a good time and enjoy the weather, some, just some, were involved in reckless and disrespectful and unlawful behavior. But she also did say, that- as we said before, we cannot um, have the city, public places, become a platform of criminal conduct. Okay, all right. At least you, right. at least you talked against it. Jeez. But anyway. Yeah. We have made historic investments in our youth programming and supported base and organizations create round Safe places for our youth. Well, sorry to let you know, but none of this has worked. Right? Right. Yeah. And people call it Brandon Johnson, Lori Lightfoot 2.0. So, some of the solutions they did put in place. So they're saying curfew for minors, bag checks, and more are on the way, by the way. We'll get to that. What are y'all waiting on? Yeah. And take note, there uh, there is a curfew and there was a curfew, but they came out before the curfew. So um, I agree with maybe if you find some teenagers, you know, that um, they come out after the curfew to find the parents and say, okay, hey, is a $500 fine for your teenager being out after curfew. You can say the higher the, higher the crime, the more the, the fine. So if they're just... Um, out after curfew, maybe a five hundred dollar fine, destroying property, maybe a two thousand dollar crime uh, fine, and then you can go up from there. I would say, hey, if you arrested downtown, a flat fee of two thousand up front. Oh yeah, by the way, let's go arrest the parents too. You have the right to remain silent. Some districts and some places do that um, in their community. And when you go arrest um, somebody for curfew, they go arrest the parents too. Oh, by the way, both of y'all got fines. Hope you got a job, youngster. Hope you got a job. And I bet you, if I'm mayor elect, oh, maybe you'll see it once and I'm going to make an example of all y'all. I would say grab them all. I would make an example out of all of them. And then next week, woo, downtown to be so peaceful, you would think, you'll think president was in town. So I wouldn't play no games. I'm, I wouldn't be here to play games because it's too much on the line. Children, lives, people are dying, people. These children are dying. It's a matter of life or death. It ain't a matter of right and wrong. Children are dying. It's time to do something. um, Go ahead. So also for a possible solution, I know they said bag checks. Um, Is it, I know like last year they raised the bridge. I mean, is it possible to cut off certain um, streets or entryways off the expressways or stop groups of teenagers and ask where they're going. But see, now you're cutting off good tourists who want to go downtown and experience downtown. It's a beautiful city. So now look at all these businesses that pay very high taxes to have a business downtown. And now you guys who are taxing me all this money to be down here, y'all want to cut off bridges? No. No, no, no. So now I'm making zero money it's and now I can't feed my family. We ain't going to do that. Y'all going to have to find something else. Y'all got to find something else. And yeah. businesses are just going to pack up and leave. And then the tax dollars right. and then it's just going to be more crime. So yeah, so homicides are down 10%, but motor vehicle theft, including carjackings, are up 137%. Unbelievable. I cannot stand yeah. a thief. 200 and a two-year average uh motor vehicle deaths are up 233 percent that's a two-year difference i cannot stand a thief you got the same 24 hours all these jobs we live in the freest country in the world you can literally go cut grass you can shovel snow you can even hustle waters on the street corner you can open up a candy store do anything there's all types of there's people dying to get to this country it's so many opportunities and make no mistake yeah. when they get here, they take full advantage. 
You will never see an immigrant come and uh, be begging at it on a uh, liquor store or in the middle of the street begging. You'll see them selling yeah. waters. They'll go buy $2 water and they'll be hustling that joint for two bucks. Anyway. I'll also take note when they do arrest somebody for the mere the uh, motor uh, vehicle theft is youth. A lot of times it's really young, like 14, 15 year olds that are doing this as well. All right, so let's look at homicides, 161 as of April. It's only 18 days in April. We're looking at 35 this month. It's not even gotten hot yet. Make no mistake, when it get hot, it will get bad. All right, Inglewood, we're already looking at 15 um, homicides there. Austin, 11. I am following the story of a 14-year-old girl that was shot and killed out of um, Austin. Um, so Austin has 11, Inglewood, 15. All right, so, you know, from the president, mayor elect, and the current mayor Lloyd Lightfoot, we gotta hold them accountable. Um, yeah, it's, and it's, go ahead. It's, and then elect uh, Brandon Johnson. He he has his work cut out for him because, like you said, it's not even warm yet. It's still April, so temperatures are back to normal. So yeah, he definitely has his work cut cut out for him, and he's gonna have to find a solution to deal with the youth. And right now, I, I'm not hearing solutions like uh, what I want to hear. I don't. First thing, you shouldn't just issue an excuse. First thing you need to issue is, oh, when I get in office, I'm taking care of that. Oh, you. Oh no. Oh no. Don't worry. Y'all stay cool. Shareholders and people in investment and then tourism. Y'all stay cool. Watch when I get in office. Yeah, that's stopping. Anyway. Shout out to everybody sending me stories. Thanks, Renee, for coming on. Make sure you guys like, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this video. Peace, peace.